Another useful tool in Smart Notebook 11 is the video player. You can access the video player by pressing the Windows button here. You can type in video player and it will take you to the program. If you have the smart icon in your taskbar, I'm going to press my arrow here. Here's my smart icon and I'm going to press that and I see video player here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the video player. It comes up looks very similar to other video players. It's got buttons for play, pause, extended screen, etc. I want to open up a video, so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to press Open. I'm going to locate a video that is stored on my computer. Those are the best ones to use. So I'm going to press Wildlife, and I'm going to press Open. And you'll see that the video launches and plays like any normal video player. A couple of advantages to the smart video player is that when I pick up a pen, it automatically pauses the video. So if I want it to write notes on top of a scene from my video, I can easily do that and it pauses it. Now, if I want to keep these notes, I can actually take a picture and put it right into a smart notebook file. So I'm going to press the little clipboard that has a camera on it and it brings up my smart notebook file that I already have open and you'll see that it's taken a picture and put it right into a smart notebook file that I can reference to uh, later. So let me minimize this and go back to my video. Now if I place the pen back in the tray it's going to start playing the video again. I might want to get rid of my notations before I start playing. There's a red X here. I can press the red X and it takes my notations off. I place my pen back in the tray and it starts playing the video once again. So again, it's a very useful tool that's built into our smart notebook software. Works great with videos that are stored on your computer and I think you'll find it very helpful in your lessons.